A SWIC, or Statewide Interoperability Coordinator, is, is really a professional relationship manager. We are experts in communications, um, whether that's uh, land mobile radio, alerts and warnings, public safety broadband, 911 and dispatch. We are technologists, but uh, at the end of the day, we are relationship builders. We're experts in governance, we're experts in emergency response communications, we're experts in uh, coordinating uh, governance bodies, we're experts in policy development. In some cases, we are emergency responders ourselves. Many of us serve in uh, state emergency operation centers or emergency coordination centers as the ESF2 or uh, communication support function. They are the unbiased advocate for all of the agencies that are involved, so they're the ones that, that speak up for everybody and help ensure that those communications are there and that interoperability is there. There's not just one definition, but I think the, the main goal of a SWIC is to bring people together. That includes you know, working with the stakeholders within my state to further interoperable communications, keeping people working towards the same goals. It's important for the locals to know that they have someone at a state level that they can depend on. And it's important for the federal level to have that state person they can reach down through and make sure information is shared through all channels and with everybody. Emergency communications all often work in silos. Uh, firefighters work with firefighters, police officers work with police officers, and interoperability means moving across those borders so that when the emergency happens, the firefighters can speak with law enforcement, can speak with the EMTs. The SWIC knows uh, what resources are available. They know the people who need to be contacted. It's a really great place to start when you're looking for a resource uh, in your communications. It's also a support system to help your agency get those needs from uh, federal partners. SWICs uh, also have to look at not just within their own state but on the outside to the other different states that the, they're uh, accompanying with because any emergency could be on the border, could be rolling over the border. All those things happen all the time so having that relationship with those other SWICs and even those other agencies that just roll over those borders and it can be a big challenge. We're the ones that are responsible for coordinating the strategic plans in the state that drive emergency communications, that bring together interoperability. And interoperability, again, is people and technology. All of that is what drives the role of the statewide interoperability coordinator. What the role is that I would see as a statewide interoperability coordinator is I'm building relationships. The primary focus of the SWIC is to help provide an exchange of information between entities, agencies, parties, private sector, getting all these people together so that they're having conversations and realizing how they can work together in a meaningful way. So that when things get bad, they can communicate. And even when things aren't bad, they can communicate. The SWIC role is important uh, because it ties the policy world to the technical world in a way that um, allows education um, and informed decision making uh, and informs uh, investments, conformance with standards, uh, and then emergency response. There has to be that, that group or that person that people go to for, not necessarily for answers, but just guidance on, I'm stuck, I need, I need help. With the right people, the right technology, the right strategic direction, and the ability to listen and understand the requirements of first responders, what their needs are and what their challenges are, and helping them find the solutions that drive not only the today, but provide success for tomorrow.